OK, on this second video, I'm going to take the program we had on our first video, where we did a print line that said, what is your name? And then we had an input line that took something from the keyboard and stored it in a variable called name. And then we did the same with age. We printed out what is your age, and then we took a value from the keyboard and stored it in an age variable. Now, the one thing we need to remember to do is something called casting, where we use int to convert from a string into an integer so we can use it for our maths later on. To start with, we're going to do something a little bit different. So we're going to remove this last section of the print line. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the program choose between two different sections of code. So we're going to use something called an if statement. So if something is true, it does one piece of code else, or otherwise, it will do a different piece of code. Now we're going to do two different pieces of code depending on the age that the person has typed in. So if the age is greater than or equal to 18, then they're obviously an adult. Otherwise, the age is 0 to 17, so they're a child. Now when we're writing this in Python, you have to note that the if and the else turn orange because they're special keywords. Remember, different things will turn different colors if they're special words. And also, you have to put a colon at the end of the if and a colon at the end of the else. Now, they will do the piece of code that is indented underneath them. So in our current code, we have if age is greater or equal to 18, it prints out that first line, which says you're an adult. Otherwise, it'll print out the bit saying that they're a child. Usually people forget the semicolons at the end of the if and the end of the else, or they forget the indents at the beginning of the print lines there. Now, this code hopefully will work. What we'll do is we'll put in some sample data and check that it does actually display what we expect it to display. So we run the code, and I'm going to type in, my name is Bob, and my age is going to be 22. And it says, your name is Bob, you're an adult. So it's done the first print line in our if statement. So we'll run it again. Again, I'll put in a name, this time Dave, and Dave is only going to be 6. Therefore, Dave is a child, which is exactly what we expected the program to do. Now, I've actually used a greater than or equal to, so it should also work if we set in use equals. So if I try and run it again, and this time I use an age of 18 for my character called Steve, it should still come up with adults because it is greater than or equal to. Now, we can also add some extra cases in if we want. Now, before I uh, add my extra cases in, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sort of switch things up a little bit. So at the moment it says while well, age is greater than or equal to 18, you're an adult. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that for a less than and swap the word adult for child and the word child for adult. Now this code will actually do exactly the same. I'm saying if you're less than 18, say you're a child. Otherwise, if you are equal to 18 or greater, it's going to say that you're an adult. And the reason I've done this is because I want to add some extra cases in. But it should still work with currently with child and adult. Oh, just need to change over so it's grammatically correct. Now, we are currently using if and else. Now, if I just copy and paste that line, or those two lines in, I can add something called an L if. Now, L if means else, so otherwise, if it's blah, 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 another condition. So what I've got now is, if it's less than 18, you're a child. Else, if it's less than 40, so it must be greater or equal to 18, but less than 40, it'll say you're an adult. And then my else at the end must be for every, if you are 40 or above, then perhaps I need to change that message as well. So let's change that message to, it's a bit harsh, but we'll say OAP. So I've now got three cases for if you are less than 18, if you are between 18 and it's less than 40, so between 18 and 39, 
and then for everybody who is 40 plus. So I've got three cases to test. So what we'll do is we'll run our program, test it, and see if it performs as we expect it to perform. So I'll start off with Bob again, and Bob is going to be 65, so therefore it says Bob is an OAP, because it is greater than 40. Uh, we can still keep with Bob, but this time we'll change Bob's age to be 32, and it says you're an adult, because that is less than 40. And then finally, we'll still keep with Bob, but we'll put Bob as being age 4, so it says Bob is a child. So now we have our three cases, but we can keep on adding more. You can have as many as you want. So if I put a fourth one in now, so if you are less than 18, you're a child. If you're less than 40, you're an adult. And if you are less than 16, sorry, less than 65, well, we'll just say that you are old. And then if you're over 65, then we'll say that you're an OAP. Okay. So, what we can do is we can just test these cases as well. So, Bob, very popular. Let's see how old you are this time. You can be 80. So, 80 means you're an OAP because you are greater than 65. Next time for Bob, we'll put you in as 70. Yep, still greater than 65. Then we'll try again. <laughs> Once again, Bob. And this time we'll put in an age of 50. So, that is between 40 and 65. So, it's going to say that he's old. And then we'll try it one more time. And this time, I'll still stick with Bob, but this time we will try an age of 33. And it says that Bob's an adult. And then finally, yes, we'll try Bob as being a little bit younger, just age of two, and he's a child. So it has performed as we want it to perform. But we do have a little bit of an issue, and this is... What happens if you put in an age that's a bit silly? Now, if we were to put in minus 42, well, it just says it's less than 18. It says, well, Bob, you're a child. Now, that's not really perfect. It is correct, but I think we need to cater for negative numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extra line in, and I'm going to say, right, if you're less than 0, I'm going to do a custom message, and then I'll change this one to an LF. So if it's less than 0, I do my error message. If it's between 0 and 18, it's going to say char. Between 18 and 40, it's going to say adult. Between 40 and 65, it says old. And then above 65, it says OAP. My error message can just be, you did not enter a valid age, because that is a useful, helpful error message. And we could do with just testing this once again. So I'll enter Bob. I'll enter minus 54. And as you can see, it's come up with my custom error message. So... I think that's a good place to stop for today.